What's up money? So the last couple days have been absolutely brutal in crypto. It was a complete bloodbath. But if you actually had money to put in and you didn't even put in one dollar, you're doing things all wrong. Now, I'm not saying that everyone should have gone on a shopping spree just because you have the money doesn't mean you need to deploy it all. That's not what I'm saying at all. But when you see certain deals out there and you don't know if you're ever going to see this deal again, why not throw some money at it? If you see the fear and greed index is currently sitting in extreme fear, this tells you a lot. This tells you that these are actually the times to be buying because people are afraid. Don't wait until we get back to the greed so you can get dumped on. That's not how you go about things, right? So if you're wondering, should you buy, sell, hold? It's I'm going to give you my opinion on that in a little bit, actually. But let me show you guys something here. So everybody knows Amazon, right? It's not a crypto, but there's a point to this. So Amazon is currently sitting at a market cap of 1.84 trillion. It's one of the biggest companies in the world. But at one point in time, Amazon had lost more than 90% of its value, but long-term investors still got rich. Do you know why? Because they knew the future, they knew what was coming. So they stuck to it and they got rich in the end. What do we know right now? We know that crypto is the future and we know that crypto could get us rich. But if you're going to get rich, you have to take advantage of these buying opportunities. Look at this right here. Six major Bitcoin crashes in history. 2011 minus 99 percent. You got minus 83 percent, minus 50 percent, minus 83 percent, minus 50 percent, minus 53 percent. So if you had taken advantage of those dips throughout history, you'd be a multi-millionaire right now instead of sitting at home watching this video. OK, so make sure that you take advantage of these dips when you get the opportunity, because we never know when they're ever going to happen again. And we don't know if this is going to be the last super cycle bull run. If it is, then why wouldn't you take advantage of these dips if you've got the money to take advantage of these dips? If you're all out of cash, then fine. You sit there and you see where things go. If you want to leave the market, you leave the market and continue doing whatever it is that you're doing while the rest of us continue to get rich. Now, I feel like some of you continue to go down the wrong rabbit hole. I'll tell you why in just a bit, but it all starts with videos like these by some of the biggest names in the crypto space. This video has got 108,000 views. The recession starts today. Crypto is you know what. And this video was posted a couple days ago. Now, the problem with watching videos like those is now the YouTube algorithm is going to start finding related content for you to watch. And before before you know it, you find yourself on Google, you start entering something like crypto and then you come across crypto crash, you click on it and you continue to go further and further down the rabbit hole. And the more and more you continue to go down that rabbit hole, the more and more you continue to wait on the side. Someone had commented on one of my recent videos and they said you shouldn't be buying right now. We're expected to go down another 30 to 50 percent. You want to know where they got that information from? Down the rabbit hole. When I look at charts like these and I see that the long term holders are still in profits and long term holders is represented by this red line right here and everyone else represents this orangish looking line. Long term holders are still in profits. Long term holders are still holding. It's not below the zero line. And then you take a look at something like this one right here. This is the opportunity zone. Whenever this blue line enters this green box, this will be the opportunity line where we are in the market right now, considering that this is a bull run. We're not going to see the opportunity zone anytime soon, in my personal opinion. Look what's going on with crypto. It's being adopted big time. Bitcoin ETF, Ethereum ETF. There's talks about how many different ETFs. For all we know, there's going to be an Avalanche, um, Cardano, XRP. We don't know how many more ETFs are coming. But what we do know is that this is just the beginning. Take a look at this. So right now I've got Cardano's chart pulled up. A lot of people don't like Cardano. That's fine. But I'm showing you a example of a massive, massive opportunity to make a quick buck. So if you go all the way out, 
you can see Cardano had a high of over three dollars. All right. And look where it bottomed out. Cardano bottomed out here at around 23 cents in December of 2022. It actually went about the same in October of 2023. OK, and then it made a bit of a pop. And what happened during the dip? This thing went to about 27 cents. OK, so that's not that far from its lows. What that tells you is that was a opportunity of a lifetime to make a quick swing because Cardano sitting at 27 cents, the floor was more than likely 24 cents. So if you did buy it at 27 cents, you would have made a quick buck depending on how much you put in, of course, because right now from 27 cents to 33 cents, if you did take it out on leverage, you'd be smiling all the way to the bank right now. Again, depending on how much you put in um, and the amount of leverage that you put in, all that comes into play. But that's just a example of a way that you could have made a quick swing. But instead of making a quick swing, people just want to stay on the side with their cash. By the way, there's a link to Margex down below if anyone is interested in leverage trading. Now, if you take a look at some of the great opportunities that had presented itself. Ondo, for example, this thing had crashed down to about 50 cents. What do we know about Ondo? A real world assets. We know that RWAs are going to be massive this year and massive next year. And if you didn't pick up anything RWA, what are you really doing in the market? Do you really want to get rich? You need to really ask yourself that question. If you look on the day, in the last 24 hours, Ondo is up 25%. It had a a really nice bounce back a really nice bounce back another one is caspa i've told you guys this multiple times recently we've got the krc 20 that's coming in the mid of this month so if the market decides it wants to recover where do you think caspa is going where do you think caspa is going i can tell you right now it's going to destroy its all-time highs it's going to go nuts so if you didn't pick up any caspa I don't know what to tell you. Of course, it's all for people that had cash on the side, because if you didn't have cash, then of course you couldn't take advantage of these opportunities. And this is why you should always have cash on the side. Don't be buying when everybody else is screaming buy now. Don't. I hope this is a lesson learned for anybody that did not have extra cash on the side. So to answer the question, should you be buying right now? And I say, Absolutely. A dollar cost average doesn't hurt anyone. Dollar cost average, though, don't go all in because if you're out of cash and then the market decides it wants to dip again, you're going to be screwed. So dollar cost average is where I think it's at right now at this present time in the market. I think we're going to make a lot of money here. It's just my opinion. None of this is financial advice. But make sure you check out all the links down below. This is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.